Ambulances lined up through the night after NYU Hospital here in Manhattan was plunged into darkness, its generators failing. And ABC's David Muir has been on the scene overnight. David? Hey, George, you know, you talk about the resilience of New Yorkers and the work of heroes, and it's playing out still right now at this hour. You can see the long line of ambulances sort of circling the block here. One of the gurneys going by, that's a patient that's been taken out of the hospital. You can see there, Paul, if you pan over, the one of the patients, one of the more than 200 that have been taken from the hospital overnight. And this is a a rescue effort that continues to unfold at this hour. You can see the long line of ambulances here. As you mentioned, there were 20 babies from the neonatal intensive care unit that have been brought downstairs. And one of the things the fire department had to do was to bring in sleds, if you will, to carry them down the stairwells to bring them down. 40 to 45 of them that have been taken to area hospitals uh, and we're told that they're going to be cared for, obviously, uh, once they arrive there. But as you can see, this line of ambulances, and there has been a line here since 10 o'clock last night when the generators failed. This is the hospital right up over my shoulder here. You can see it's completely dark. What they're trying to figure out is how so many of those generators could have failed, George. Big questions about how they get the fuel to those generators. But in the meantime, the work of heroes. I saw one patient who came out, a senior citizen who looked at me and saw me here and gave me a thumbs up, said, I'm okay, George. Well, I've never seen a line of ambulances like that, okay? David, thanks so much. One of the most heart-stopping events during the storm, the emergency evacuation of a major downtown hospital in Manhattan, including newborns from a critical care unit. ABC's David Muir at NYU Medical Center has more on the heroes who got everyone out safe and sound. David, so many stories from that night. Wow, they really were heroes, Amy. Great to see you this morning. And as you know, it was quite a sight to watch nurses walk out of this front entrance here with those newborns wrapped in blankets. You can see this neighborhood still completely in the dark, not a light on as people get ready for work this morning. But what is emerging is a clearer portrait of the work inside this hospital. And this morning, we meet the moms grateful for those nurses, those doctors who brought those babies down. I know you See, he doesn't want to talk about it all over again. <laughs> Margaret and Greg Prada and their baby Cole made their way down that stairwell too. On the 13th floor, you could really hear the winds howling, and it was really strong. Baby Cole was just six hours old when the hurricane first began lashing the hospital. Sharing the steps with the other patients, being carried down on plastic sleds, rushed in by firefighters and paramedics. It was pretty amazing. You saw them just dripping with sweat and carrying these, these women that couldn't walk down the stairs. Mom, dad, and their baby were rushed to another hospital. And so was this precious baby, Ariana, who was born premature with a heart condition. Her mother had been sent home while doctors kept close watch over the baby for a few more weeks. Those parents so thankful, and you know, I spent some of the overnight with them at that hospital they've been moved to. Both babies fine, Ariana and Cole. Little Cole, I'm told, Amy and George got a, a little cold, in fact, as he was moving to the next hospital because it was raining, but the doctors say he's going to be just fine. They say it's going to be quite a Thanksgiving for those families. I bet it will. And David, what, thanks so much. And what a story they are going to have. Yeah, I know. He'll tell them later and he'll say, I survived that. <laughs>